The Hero World Challenge tees off later today in the Bahamas. Golfing legend Tiger Woods might be the main attraction in Albany, but there is plenty of other star power as well at the event. Three-time major winner Jordan, Jordan Spieth is part of the field for the PGA Tour event. Beyond Sports editor Digvijay Singh Dio caught up with the 2014 Hero World Challenge winner ahead of the opening day. Listen in. It's been a fascinating year, both on and off the course in professional golf. Three-time major winner Jordan Spieth has been involved as a player, as well as being a leading voice in the sport. He joins me now on the sidelines of the Hero World Challenge out here in sunny Nassau. Thank you for your time, Jordan. Now, obviously, when Tiger Woods plays, there's a lot of buzz, but when Tiger plays after a long time, there is a lot of frenzy if that's the right word yeah i think that's probably the right word yeah and it's great it's great for us it's great for the sport um and the fact that he says he's playing without pain means that there's hope that there's going to be less of a break next time yeah uh when you when you look at tiger you know a lot of you have sort of grown up idolizing tiger woods the player but you've also spent time with him over the years you've seen him sort of struggle with that patched up body of his uh struggle to get every muscle, every fiber working. That's also a testament of why he's regarded as, as one of the greatest. And it's also perhaps inspiring to see someone push the limits so much. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think, you know, if he had to do it over again, he, he may make some changes in what he did um, in some of his training and whatnot, but he may not. Um, it's who he is. He, he's always been somebody that pushes to be the best at anything he's doing. And it obviously has shown in his golf career, and he inspired my entire generation to pick up the game and and uh, work as hard as we could to have just a few of the moments like he had countless times. Let's talk about you. I was uh, telling you that I was there in Orlando when you won your first Hero World Challenge. That was the time the tournament got rebranded as Hero World Challenge. There's a lot of talk in professional golf about elevated tournaments. But this uh, Hero World Challenge is actually an elevated tournament in itself because of the limited field, the kind of players who are playing out there. Does that really push you hard each time you come here because of the caliber of players you're up against? Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an elite field for being such a small field. And then it, the timing of it is great because we get an opportunity to kind of try out some of the stuff that we've been working on in the off season. Um, and we still have, you know, then a few weeks before we, we start now the, the new FedEx cup season that starts after the new year. So it's a, it's a nice, really nice tournament because you get to play against the best in the world while having an opportunity to kind of come off of a break, knock off a little bit of the rust and see if you can work your way into contention and see where your game's truly at. Perhaps enjoy the conditions yeah, as well, as well. Yeah, and the casinos problem. and all of that. But, but you know, uh, you've joined the PGA Tours Policy Board now. Uh, you've been there before. You've sort of served uh, multiple times in the past. But the game is sort of at the crossroads at the moment. So how do you balance your personal goals with the goal, with the role that you have? Because you're looking after the interests now of hundreds of other players who may not be having that voice which you have. So it's a voice for change. Yeah, I think that I can speak for the other player directors as well in saying that, you know, it, it takes enough time right now versus the last time I served to where you certainly are spending less time doing other things, whether that's um, jeopardizing a little bit of time with your family or jeopardizing time with the game. It is um, a bit consuming right now, but it has to be. It's a very, as you mentioned, a very important time in the uh, in professional golf and trying to make the right moves um, representing you know, the entire membership is really the goal and all the players being kind of united as one on the board um, with the collective interest of the entire membership uh, you know, in the front of mind is, is our goal. And it's a, it's a pivotal time that I think we all are willing to make a minor sacrifice for right now. Okay. Uh, when I spoke about being exciting times in professional golf, this was also the year of the Ryder Cup. Uh, 
not exactly a very good Ryder Cup for the American team, but for you personally, I saw you out there scrapping very, very hard. <laughs> Sometimes do you sort of come back thinking we put in so much effort, it just didn't go our way. How do you sort of relate to that kind of uh, result? Because the apart from that first that first uh, morning, it was, it was a lot of lot of fighting which went on, just fighting and scrapping for points. Yeah, I think they were sharper. They had they had all just played really well, um, you know, uh, two weeks prior. Um, and they came out and showed that right away. And it's hard to dig out a hole when you're playing in a way Ryder Cup. And then, you know, myself, I, you know, I had, we had just had a baby. I had, I had not been practicing. I was not sharp. Um, I had, you know, a, a couple good rounds and a couple really bad rounds. And, you know, it, it's, it stinks because, you know, you get there and you try and make up for it and, and be at your best for your team. Um, but I, I can only speak to myself personally and say that, you know, I certainly wish I was in better form when, when I started, but, um, Regardless, it was an incredible scene. I love playing Ryder Cups over, um, over in Europe. It's fun to play away games. It's fun to have those moments where you quiet the crowd. I was able to have a few of them, and, and we had some sparks on, on a potential comeback on Sunday, and it wasn't meant to be this time. But, um, you know, I've been on five now. I've lost the three over there, and we've won the two here. It's been a home-and-home -home game, and now we've got to defend here and, and figure out how to win one over there. But that sport, hopefully uh, you find that spark again right. over here. Hopefully you enjoy uh, with the family over here. If they are here, enjoy these conditions. Thank you so much for your time and wishing you all the best Thanks, for the new 2024 season and also this new role that you've taken on board. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it.